my channel for another video so as you can tell by the background we have changed backgrounds for a few videos here on my channel this month with the holidays fastly approaching I thought that I would get into the season and the festivities by decorating a little bit for Christmas so I'm sitting in front of my Christmas tree right now as you guys can probably tell by the title I'm sharing with you guys what I put in my boys stockings for Christmas this year if you guys have been following my channel for a while you know that we live on a strict budget and Christmas is no exception to that. We really like to get the best deals on everything that we can during the holidays because we have three boys and we're gonna have a fourth little one in April and we've got family and friends that we like to gift to as well. So it's really important to us to stick to a budget on Christmas. So I decided to go to the dollar store and Walmart uh, dollar section as well as the Target dollar spot and get some really cool items. We like to do some fun items in their stockings but we also like to do some practical items as well. So you're gonna see a little bit of both in this video. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm not gonna show you any of this in any specific order. I just have my box right here and I'm gonna show you guys as things go. A lot of things are in doubles like this because they are for the older boys. They are only 18 months apart, so to have no fighting, we like to get them similar or like things so that they um, can play with them together and then again, there's no fighting. So we got them these little sticky bombs and they're snowmen. So apparently when you, they're like squishy. And when you throw them onto the ground, they're supposed to flatten out and then they come back to life. These were like at Walmart or something for like a dollar something or two dollars a piece. I thought they would be really nice, super festive for the holiday season. It's just something fun that they can do together. It also acts as like a little stress ball so they can play with that as well if they want. The next fun item we ended up getting them are these little dino slime eggs. They love slime. Which child at this age at this time of year does not like slime? It's been this ongoing thing for like a year now. This is just dino slime eggs. So this is fun. Comes in this like hard plasticky dinosaur looking thing. And this is just again something fun that they can play with, make a mess with. It was a dollar. If this only lasts like a few weeks in the house, it was a dollar. So I'm not too concerned about it. The next thing that is also fun but really practical are holiday socks. If you guys know me already, you know that I love socks for every different season. And I love, love, love Christmas socks. I get them Christmas socks every single year since they were very little. I get these at the dollar store because they are a dollar a piece instead of like five dollars a piece. And they are just so much fun. Like I should probably give them to these to them before Christmas so they can wear them for Christmas. But oh my gosh guys, look how cute these are. So I ended up getting these little penguins for Aiden and then I also ended up getting these little Christmas trees with uh, candy canes on them as well. So he is gonna love those. And Alex and I have the same size feet, which is crazy because he's nine. So I ended up getting him these little um, super cute ones. I think like I want a pair of these. So I ended up getting him these. They have Christmas trees and snowflakes and they're a lot of fun. And then he also got these little Christmas light bulbs as well. The next item is something that's also practical and it is body wash and face wash. So our boys use the Dial Kids. Uh, they have been using it for years and they really, really enjoy it. Uh, so we got a bottle of Dial Kids. We actually picked this up at the dollar store, which is crazy. Uh, so we're gonna put this one in Aiden's stocking and then we also ended up getting this St. Ive Acne Control Face Wash for Alex. Uh, he just told me the other day that he hadn't been washing his face in the shower and I was like, Alex, come on, you're nine. You have to wash your face in the shower. Come on. I am not in the shower with him when he showers. He is nine years old. He should be able to do the whole thing on his own. So I was like, how come you don't wash your face? He was like, well, I don't know. But anyways, I really, really encouraged him to wash his face in the shower. So I got him some Cetaphil or Cetaphil face wash as well, face and body. And then I also got him the St. Ives acne control one because he is playing hockey and he gets really sweaty and grimy and gross. Sorry, Alex, but it's true. Uh, and then when he gets home from hockey, we get him to go into the shower. And then I want him to be using this to scrub down his face. So we actually taught him how to use face wash properly. Uh, but this is just going to go in a stocking. And this was at the dollar store for $2 as well. So you can't really go wrong. Do I like the brand? I don't know. Never used it. Uh, but it's definitely going to be something really good for him to use. The next item that's fun for them are these little hockey pucks. My boys live, play, eat, dream, sleep, hockey. They play hockey almost every day, whether it's at home, at a friend's house, at the ice skating rink, um, with their teams or friends. They play hockey all the time. And I'm telling you guys, we go through so many of these because one gets shot over there or over there or in the snowbank or somewhere. 
So a dollar a piece for these are definitely good and they love to play with them. They play outside, out front with them. So I thought why not add a little one dollar fun thing to their stocking that I know that they're really gonna enjoy. On a more practical note, we ended up getting them these little Purell uh, holders or I don't know what you call them, holders I guess. We have these and we like to put these onto their lunch kits when they go to school so if they don't have the chance or they're not told to go and wash their hands because I'm really not sure if they send 25, 30 kids to wash their hands before snack and lunch, they have the option to quickly sanitize their hands before they eat. Schools are just as germy and gross as everything else out in public. There's just so many sick kids, especially during flu season. We really, really, really encourage our boys to wash their hands frequently and making sure that they're not touching anything they shouldn't be. Um, these are different colors, again, so that there's no arguing and they know which one's theirs. I'll typically buy like the big bottle and then just refill these as well. But one of these broke and then I don't even know what happened to the other one. So they were definitely due for more of these. And continuing on with a more practical note, we ended up getting them these little Blistex lip chaps. We've got a green and a blue. And uh, this time of year, we live in a cold climate. It's really dry and cold and the boys are licking their lips and they're cracking and sore and red. We even saw that last week on them. So as they're older and they know how to use this and um, they'll probably use it, then we just ended up getting some of these. We got these at the dollar store again for a dollar. Most of the stuff I got was at the dollar store uh, just because it's cheap, it's good. If you guys have been following my channel, you know that I love the dollar store. I love doing dollar store hauls. I will link those down below so you can check them out, put some up in the cards as well because I love to go to the dollar store for every season, holiday, birthday. If I need household items, cleaners, things like that, the dollar store is great. So we just got them one of these and they're practical. They're gonna use them. They actually asked for one last week, so these are great. Something that's really fun that we can all do together is playing cards. So these actually came in a pack of two for a dollar and I just ended up splitting up the pack and giving them one each. So we have a reindeer rummy and a goldfish. Go fish, go fish. We have a go fish so that we can play this as well. It's really nice as they're older. They're seven and a half and nine. So they're a lot of fun right now. They're at that great age where you can sit with them, talk with them, play a board game with them, watch a little bit more of a grown up movie with them during Christmas time. So it's just so, so much fun. When the little one goes to bed, we can play board games, things like this. We're trying to do Christmas a little bit differently this year by giving them items that they're gonna use instead of a bunch of toys that they're not gonna play with. So we're doing like toques and clothing and board games and some experiences and things like that. If you guys do wanna see what I got my older boys for Christmas, let me know in the comments down below and I will show you guys and give you guys a little bit more of my mindset on that. I did do a what I got my toddler for Christmas, so I will link that one down below if you guys are interested in that as well. I know my viewers have uh, kids of different ages. I know some of you guys don't have any kids at all. The next thing I got is just a regular deck of cards. This is super practical, super fun. You can bring this anywhere. Um, hockey tournament, hotels, home. And when we go camping, we like to bring these as well. So this is super fun. I also got a deck of Uno from the dollar store, but it doesn't seem to be in my box right here. But yes, yeah, so we got Uno. So one of them will get the Uno. The other one will get the regular playing cards. During the holidays, I always had the habit of getting the boys so much candy and sugar and sweets because they're all so cute and packaged so nicely. And it's the holidays, so why not? But everyone buys my kids chocolate and candy during the holidays. Aunts and uncles, grandparents, friends, teachers, whoever it might be, they always get so much. They still have like three quarters of their Halloween candy and we're well into December. So they don't need any more candy. With that being said, they do really, really like to chew gum. So I ended up getting them just one package of gum each, just for a bit of a sweet treat, something fun. So they each get a package of gum. All right, so to finish off with the last few items, we ended up getting them a package of mechanical pencils each. They do a lot of writing when it comes to school and home, and these always seem to go missing, so it's always a good idea to get them some fun pencils, different colors uh, that they enjoy. They are really enjoying these right now. They're a lot less sloppy when they're writing with them. Uh, they don't have to struggle with uh, sharpening them or anything like that. So we got them one package each. I also ended up getting Alex some highlighters because for school and home, there's definitely a lot of things that require him to use highlighters. He just had a yellow one and I thought that it might be a neat idea to get him a bunch of different colors. He doesn't get bored, he can doodle with them, he can highlight certain things that he's looking for. He is in grade four, so his work is getting a little bit more complex. 
So this is definitely something that he's going to use. It's practical, but I think he's going to enjoy having them as well. We also ended up getting Alex a little wallet. Alex is definitely a saver. He just ended up buying himself a computer with the money he had saved over allowance, tooth fairy money, Christmas and birthdays, and uh, he likes to save his money for bigger things. Every time I open his bedroom drawer, uh, his top drawer, there's always money scattered around. I thought it might be a super cool idea for him to be a little bit more grown up and have his wallet where he can put his money, gift cards, things that he receives so that he's not losing them, so they're not scattered, just to show him a little bit of responsibility. This one I actually picked up at Walmart. I think it was $4.97, so a little bit pricier than the other items, but I think I was only at like $12 or $13 for his stocking anyway, so I had to add something, and this is definitely something that's gonna be practical. It's just a basic, cheap wallet, a place for some change, and then you've got a place for dollar bills and cards as well. So this will definitely come in handy. He'll use this for years and years to come. And to finish off with the last two items, we ended up getting the boys a journal. Now, a lot of people are like, why are you getting your seven to nine year olds journals? I have an idea. It says, enjoy the journey. So what I thought about getting these, and I got these at the dollar store, by the way. What I thought when I got these is that I'm going to encourage the boys to do more writing. Either it's creative writing, short stories, whatever it might be. They're at that age in grade two and grade four where they need to start developing their minds, get off the video games once in a while, really get creative. And not only are we trying to encourage them to write to develop that good writing and reading skills, we're actually gonna be using these journals to write their favorite part of their day, the part that they like the least, and then uh, what they're most grateful for that day. I think that this is a really nice idea. I actually got this idea from someone here on YouTube. Now I forget who it was, but someone here on YouTube. It's like kind of an old fashioned colored paper. You can write the date up here, which is super fun because next year during the holidays or during Thanksgiving, they can reflect on what they wrote throughout the year, things that they want to work on, things that they actually really did enjoy. And this is definitely going to encourage them to be more thankful for things that they have and to realize how lucky and blessed they truly are. We have some really good boys and they're really gracious about everything in life, but it is always nice to be able to reflect on things. I do this personally on a daily basis. I thought at the ages that there are at seven and a half and nine that it would be a really good time for them to do something like this, teach them how to give back and just realize everything that they do have. So I think this is a really good learning tool. I think this is good for a lot of kids and you can even start this with your kids when they're not able to write yet, when they're talking to you. If you're a mom of boys, you know that it's hard to get anything out of them, anything like communication because everything is just always fine. This is a really nice way to interact with them as well uh, because you know how their day went, what they enjoyed, what they didn't, and then you get to see and be really, really proud when they write things that they're grateful for. So that is really encouraging as a parent as well. All right, so that sums up everything that we ended up putting in the boys' stockings. I do realize now that I probably have to add one or two things in Aiden's stocking just because he has a little bit less than Alex. But this is basically everything that goes into it. It's fun. It's uh, practical. You don't have to spend loads of money when it comes to stockings or Christmas at all. If you guys do want to see what I put in my toddler's stocking, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and film one real quick for you guys because Christmas is just around the corner. It's actually coming a lot sooner than what I had anticipated. It's December 25th every year and I can't seem to figure out how to get everything done on time. But I can definitely film one of those videos for you guys if you guys are interested. And like I mentioned, if you guys want to see what I got the older boys for Christmas and my whole uh, perception on that, let me know in the comments down below as well. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, again, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. I am posting a few more videos here during the holiday season and I would love to have you stick around. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.